Welcome to the overview of what's new on the 2016.16.01 release of CCH Pro System FX Practice Management. The 2016.16.01 release will be available for download and installation on May 23, 2016. This release includes compatibility with Microsoft technology and new features for increased usability. Practice management is now compatible with Microsoft Office 2016. This benefits you when adopting new software. In addition, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 ships with this release. If you have not upgraded to SQL 2012, we recommend that you do so with this release. SQL 2014 has been available for a couple of years, and Microsoft is getting ready to release SQL 2016. If you use Practice Management and any of the CCH Access products, common data maintained in Practice Management can be pushed to access on a daily basis to avoid double entry. In this release, CCH Access Monitor is now installed to the Practice Management server. This provides reliable 24-7 coverage of transmissions. In addition, multiple employees can be set to receive notifications. Overall this improves the audit trail for any transmission errors. The error notification setup provides the ability to select the frequency of the notifications, in addition to the multiple firm employees, to receive it. For billers who do on-screen billing, starting with the list of clients to bill, we have reorganized the client list screen to improve the ease of use. Button options are now organized at the top and bottom of the screen. All buttons at the top filter the client lists and include new filters. All buttons at the bottom give options for a single selected client. The menu bar now includes an edit option to change the bill through date or to change the client biller. A new preference has been added to the preferences menu to provide the ability to customize the columns on the billing client list screen. You can change the column order or remove columns. The set of columns to work with remains the same. The ability to move the order of the columns or remove columns is in a standard format that should look familiar. We added the ability to transfer progress amounts from one client engagement to another last year. We received customer feedback that it would be easier to make this transfer in the same area as the progress is distributed to multiple engagements. This option has been added to this area on this release. When selecting the WIP to bill, the buttons at the bottom of the WIP grid group and sort WIP transactions. Previously there was an option to summarize all employees for all engagements and that option is available again in this release. We enhanced the daily timesheet report and added a new service code invoice paragraph report. For an improved audit trail for time and expense reporting, the daily timesheet now includes an option for the memo entered. For billers who want to use paragraphs associated with the service codes on their invoices, a new report is available. For all standard reports, individual employee permissions need to be set up. The WIP tab in Contact Management displays time and expense entries. There is now a new option to make it easier to focus on these transactions. Users can select the Net Progress Amounts checkbox so that progress transactions are summed by the engagement, allowing you to focus on time and expenses. In both the firm dashboard and the client dashboard, there are new options to drill into project details. The Client Dashboard now has a Projects tab to display the client projects. The Project tab includes security for access. In reviewing client projects, there is a link to view the unbuild, build, or both project transactions. The Firm Dashboard now includes an option on the My Projects tab to view the employees assigned to the project with their project position. On the My Projects tab, to review multiple projects, you can select multiple projects, so you can easily review each project and the assigned employee. The Firm Dashboard 
also includes project detail when managers review projects on the My Project Overruns tab. This is available for drill down on any of the projects that may be in trouble. There is a new utility available in the administration module to change an employee code. This option is found in the utilities menu. However, you cannot use a code that has previously been assigned to an employee. The utility is quick and easy to use. Just use the new employee code box to enter a new code. If you want to use a consolidated AR statement for outstanding invoice balances only, this has been available, but it has not been outlined on the Statement Format tab. This tab now displays the steps to print the type of statement. Thank you for watching the video about the new features in Practice Management, version 2016.16.01.